Hello, and thank you for joining us. I'm Sandy Sukoff, CPA. I'm the founder of the Canna CPAs, Lepstein Sukoff, CPA and Associates, LLC. I formed our CPA practice back in 1997. So we cater our tax practice and our accounting practice to the cannabis industry. In 1982, Congress enacted uh, Internal Revenue Code Section 280E, which says that no expense or deduction will be allowed for any business where that business is involved in trafficking of controlled substances pursuant to the Controlled Substance Act, such as Schedule 1 or Schedule 2. Now, cannabis, aka marijuana, is a controlled substance. So that means, you know, that they are not allowed for any deduction or any expense on their tax returns that they incur. And we all know in business that we're incurring expenses uh, to establish ourselves, to generate revenue, and in the cannabis touching industry, we are not allowed to take any expenses. Now, there was a Senate report that further elaborated uh, that with respect to cost of goods sold, uh, that they would allow deductions, and that would not be part of the definition of that act. So what that means is we, as a specialty CPA firm, can help our CEOs and their business allocate legitimately certain deductions to cost of goods sold, but that has to be done in a very precise manner. And unfortunately, it's been our experience that we found that many bookkeepers and many accountants just don't know what they're doing with respect to this. And that can translate to, aside from headaches and heartache, a lot of extra money in lost deductions, which translates to higher taxes and even penalties and interest. We can help the cannabis CEO in many ways. Our firm can help save you money and save your taxes. Through our strategic tax planning, we can save you money. Through budgeting and rolling forecasts, we can help you keep a leaner environment. And did you know that in order to take these cost of goods sold deductions, you must be adhering on a daily, weekly, perpetual, contemporaneous basis to cost accounting, you know, gap cost accounting, and if not, the IRS, if audited, and you're likely to get audited in the cannabis industry, can disallow all of those deductions. We also have a perpetual data room, and that allows you to store in the cloud in a very organized fashion, all of your documents. It could be legal documents, tax documents, bank documents, accounting documents. And this way, it'll help you for a potential investor, for a banker, and even uh, make it accessible for an internal revenue so service audit. Another way we help C CEOs in the cannabis industries is providing peace of mind, knowing that everything's getting done, it's done efficiently, you're maximizing your tax savings, you're maximizing your compliance to withstand IRS audits, and in doing so, we're alleviating any potential stress and you can move on, enjoy your leisure and your time. We also pride ourselves with a tremendous amount of customer service. Your success is our success. Our expertise cannot be underestimated. We know accounting, we know tax, we've been around for a long time, we're going to be around for a, a much longer time. We know cannabis, we know its operations, so who better than to help you? I'm sure most of you are wondering if your accountants are preparing things you know, correctly with regard to cost of goods sold and its allocation on the tax returns. And now you're probably wondering if your bookkeepers are doing uh, gap cost accounting. So we are very happy to help you. So we here at the Canna CPAs, Lefstein Sukhav CPA and Associates, we're ready to talk to you now and hear about your concerns. So you can log on to our contact form on our website to schedule a, a no obligation telephone consultation, or better yet, give us a call at 833-CPA-CANA. That's 833-CPA-CANA. We look forward to hearing from you and join us next time.